Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, and my channel is KW Shops. I hope you enjoy this video today. This is another tag, and uh, if you are have been with me for a while, you know how much I love tags. I started my channel because of a tag. Just couldn't resist the opportunity to do another tag. Um, so this tag is the luxury handbag tag, and it was started by uh, Lydia Elise Millen. Uh, I was definitely not tagged by her or anything, but um, it's just a series of great questions, and I love answering questions like this, and I love talking about handbags and luxury handbags, which is kind of why we're here, I think. Uh, like I said, luxury tags are my very favorite type of videos to watch, and, and because I'm always curious to see what other people's, um, what, how other people answer these questions. So if you're new here and you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more like this. And also hit the subscribe button to get more videos from me. I try to do videos once a week. So I'm going to get started. Here is the first question. So I have 11 handbags total. Wow. <laughs> Considering I think I've only really been shopping luxury handbags since maybe like 2014 or 2015. I think that's a, you know a good a sizable little collection uh, considering there it hasn't been that much time. 11 feels like a big number but it I it's a, I don't feel like I have that many but I guess I do. <laughs> so I keep my bags there's a few of them behind me here um, I keep my bags on a shelf like this. We're actually inside of my closet right now uh, here are a few of my bags behind me. I have a great walk-in closet and um, I'm gonna do a closet tour once it's ready. It's not ready yet. I've been working at it for like I guess two years now and <laughs> it's finally we're finally rounding the bend and um, but as soon as I do get it ready and get it beautiful and presentable I promise I will do a closet tour because I'm just so proud of it and I'm so happy with it. So my closet doesn't have any windows so I am very okay with keeping my handbags outside of the dust bags. At the moment everything is everything is stuffed with air paper or stuffing or scarves or whatever and with the dust bag inside of it. I only use my dust bags when I travel. Uh, that's the only time I really use them and they're great for that but I don't store mine in my dust bags. Um, my first purchase, uh, I actually did a video about it. My very first video on YouTube was a review of this bag. Um, you've seen it before. This is the Louis Vuitton Belmont in Damier Aben. And I bought this pre-loved from Fashion File in 2015, I think. I think 2015. Yeah, so I did a full review on the bag there. If you want to see it, I will link it down below. Before I had this one, I did receive two bags as gifts, and um, but the question is, what was your first bag that you purchased? And that is the first one that I actually purchased with my own money. And I saved up for it for like, I don't know, I guess three or four months, and I was just so happy to get it, and I still use it all the time. Uh, my newest bag is this one. This is the Gucci Dionysus chain wallet. I did an unboxing and review on this one as well. This is uh, in black leather with the uh, Gucciissima Gigi Supreme canvas and the tiger. Uh, you've definitely seen this one. I filmed an unboxing and a review of this. I reach for it all the time. I think I bought it in like maybe September and it's just been such a wonderful addition to my collection. I wear it so much and I mean it still looks like almost completely completely new like there's for how much I wear this bag it really is just holding up incredibly well so I'm so I'm really really happy with this purchase now I mean I shop pre-loved a lot of the time so I'm not really buying in the store as much as I guess some other people are, but I did interpret this question. I mean, I guess I sort of picked it based on what the retail value of this bag was. So the most expensive bag in my collection would be this one. This is the Valentino um, C. Rocky Fringe Hobo. Um, with green leather. So this bag retailed at uh, $3,200 and I'm just gonna make sure and tell you I did not pay that much for it. Uh, so this one I actually did buy new and um, I just got it like really severely deeply discounted on sale and I absolutely love it. 
they don't make this bag anymore. They do, I think, still make the Sea Rocky collection with the fringe, but uh, this actual style I think was discontinued. I have seen this on some of the pre-loved websites in a bunch of different other colors. This is such an underrated bag and I'm so happy, so happy that I have this. Um, I don't really think of it, I, I mean, I don't really think that it was that dramatic, but I guess I would say when I bought the Gucci Dionysus from Gilt. So it was this one here and um, like I said, I don't think it's that dramatic, but, and when I filmed my unboxing, I def definitely, I don't feel like, I feel like I wasn't explaining what was going on as well as I could have. Uh, so basically, I had decided to buy this bag full price, which I, is something I still have yet to do. I have not bought a bag full price yet. That's almost, like, full price is just sort of boring for me. Like, I'm all about deals. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess for me, it's a thrill of the hunt, so I haven't really it, like there's really no interest in it to me at all if there's like no discount I, I it's so strange so strange anyways um so I had finally decided that I was gonna get that bag and I don't know I think I had just maybe decided like maybe two weeks beforehand oh that's the one that I want and I was I think it was maybe early September and I was gonna get it for myself for my birthday my birthday's in December so I had decided to start put start putting money away for it in early December and about a week later I get a notification from Gilt that they were having a Gucci handbag and accessory sale and I completely I completely lost my mind so right as I was scrolling through I put I found that bag put it in my cart um, and I was scrolling through the rest it was sold out and um, I thought wow okay maybe it's not meant to be I put myself on the waitlist thinking that there's there's no way I would ever like there's no way they're gonna they're gonna get more they're gonna find more of course not uh, later that day I felt like I, I had missed out on like the bag of my life so I was at Zara to try and like replace it with something in my mind which doesn't make sense at all <laughs> so when I'm in line checking out this was maybe I don't know like the end of the day I'm in line checking out and I get a little buzz on my phone and it said that oh you were selected from the waitlist, and I flipped out completely, like I almost dropped my phone in the line, so I ran out of line. I was like in the corner at Zara, like, you know, like furiously typing and l trying to log in to Ebates and blah blah blah, and then I forgot my password, and it was, yeah, yeah, that was, I mean, that the only reason I would even call that my most dramatic experience is because, like, People probably were looking at me from the other side of the store thinking like, what is that crazy, crazy girl doing over there? I mean, you would have thought that I was like launching like missile codes from my phone here. Like I, <laughs> so yeah, I guess, I guess that's the most dramatic experience, but I think I'm very early in my handbag buying career, so I'm sure it'll get worse from there. I really like buying pre-owned and I'm thinking about doing a video series all about buying and selling pre-owned. Uh, let me know if you would like to see that, to, if you'd like to see something like that because uh, I don't know there's just a lot of like information and tips that I have on it. I've been, I actually work for a uh, pre-loved luxury consignment boutique. Yeah there's just a lot of uh, interesting things and interesting tips that I would love to share but let me know if you would like to see that in the comments below. But as far as like you know store to buy a bag, I mean Honestly, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna on. Okay, here, here we go. So I'm gonna say Saks. <laughs> so I'm gonna say Saks, and you're gonna laugh at this reason because it's ridiculous. But Saks is partnered with Ebates. Saks is actually one of the very, the few places on Ebates that you can get cash back in the store. And I much prefer shopping in the store as uh, compared to online because you actually get to see and feel and touch and test the product before, as opposed to just putting it in your cart and crossing your fingers. To be able to use Ebates and get your, I think it's like 4% cash back, I mean, on a lot of these luxury items, and they're so expensive, it, it makes a huge, um, it makes a difference. It definitely makes a difference, and it is a nice little perk. I'm all about perks when it comes to anything and it comes to shopping, so I'm going to say Saks. But I also am going to say Fashion File, because they're awesome. But, but like I said, I'll do a whole video about um, buying and selling pre-loved. I mean, it's really, really hard to pick. I mean, what is my favorite? What is my favorite bag? I mean, I have like 
three favorite bags. But I think the question was, what is your favorite bag right now? Right now, because I've been carrying it all week, is the Valentino. And I say that because the reason I really do love this bag so much is because it of the size and I'm not a very like this normally wouldn't be my style like I'm not a very like boho um, type of girl and I usually don't like slouchy bags either but the way and I hope you can see this the way this is shaped it sort of is shaped like a croissant and it maintains its structure even though it's sort of slouchy like it it keeps a structured slouch if that makes sense and that probably makes no sense and it's one of the few bags I have that has pockets that I like on the inside also it fits all like um considering the size of the bag like it doesn't seem like it's that big I mean I guess maybe from this angle it kind of does it doesn't seem like it's that big but it really does carry a whole bunch of stuff um, on the other hand, this one is huge and can barely carry anything, so <laughs> it's like exactly the opposite of this bag. Uh, so yeah, right now this is my favorite um, because it's just really, its I guess it's, it's also just really different for me. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. And that is really, really hard because I love all of my bags, so I'm just going to pick the one that I reach for the least. And that would be this one. This is my Louis Vuitton Damier Azure uh, Syracusa MM. And don't get me wrong, I really do love this bag. I just haven't reached for it in a while. So I bought this bag pre-loved as well from Poshmark, I believe. And it already had this beautiful patina on it. And it already had, like, you know, some, some color transfer, some love already that's why they call it pre-loved but um I don't know like I wore it a lot when I bought it last year I wore it a lot last year and I just haven't worn it a lot since last year um, I sort of have something uh, on my on the way here so uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that so technically it would be my next purchase, because I've already purchased the one that's coming, right? No? Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> so my next handbag purchase, I'm looking at, and I feel like I've mentioned this a lot, and I'm just going to speak it into being, but um, I'm really looking at the um, Louis Vuitton Palace bag. Um, I went to go, I've already been to the store to look at it three times, and I feel like they're sick of me. <laughs> I don't want to get too repetitive, but it is basically like the redesigned version of this, which I do love, but this one is, it has um, more leather on it, and it has outside pockets, front and back, and um, yeah, it's beautiful, and it has different colors, but I don't think, I don't think I'm going to get it because it's too similar, and, um, but other than that, I'm really looking into the Speedy Bandolier 35. Um, I already have a Speedy 30 in monogram. And it's just the classic Speedy, and I feel like with the shoulder strap, I would use it more. And uh, the 35, in, as being the bigger size, I would be able to use it um, as more of an everyday bag. And I would probably get it in Damier Ben. First, when I got the Dionys, uh, the Dionysus chain wallet, I was glad that I got that instead of the medium large size and the more I look at the medium large size the more I continue to love it so I'm gonna say the Gucci uh, Dionysus medium large even though I already have a Gucci Dionysus I, I need to not I, I, I need to just not answer this question okay next next question and that is easy it's easy uh, well sort of easy so, dream handbag is the Chanel Black Caviar Silver Hardware um, Single Flap Maxi or Jumbo, I haven't decided yet. That's what I want. That's my dream handbag. I have tried on the Maxi and I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the Maxi because I don't really wear crossbody bags and I know the chain on that one is a lot shorter than the Jumbo. Um, and I also would want to be able to carry my iPad inside of it. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you if uh, the Jumbo will fit a, a regular size iPad, the classic. 
or or the other the other answer to this question is a medium classic Chanel from the year I was born so uh, I think Chanel started making started putting the serial numbers into the bags the in 89 which is the year before I was born so it's gonna be super they're super easy to find I've already seen a bunch and if it's off by a couple of months I'm not gonna care either way um, so yeah I definitely I definitely want to get one of those I hope that this year is the year that I get my that I get my Chanel but it probably won't be you know um, I don't I'm not saving up for it or anything I haven't really I mean I, I see them all the time but I don't really see myself getting one this year but I wonder like when people get their people get their Chanel do they just go on to a Birkin I mean I don't because I don't see myself carrying a Birkin or a Kelly and I I'm not, at this point in my life, I'm not a huge Hermes fan, so, I mean, what happens after you get your dream bag? Like, what, what, where do you go after that? Do you just start buying cars or something? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so, that is it for the luxury handbag tag. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and a huge uh, thank you to Lydia E. Millen for creating it. Um, she's one of my favorite people on YouTube. She's, uh, please check her channel out if you, if you don't, don't already know her. Um, I'm just going to tag two people. I'm going to tag uh, LB and Shay Whitney. They both have awesome channels, and I watch all of their videos, like, religiously. So, hey, guys. Um, please film this. <laughs> um, so I may have a giveaway or something coming up soon. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I know I'm going to have an unboxing later. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but, like, I, I have so much admiration and respect for all the people that can get two and three videos up in a week. I'm barely keeping pace with one. Uh, I'm doing my best. Uh, I do really see everyone who is commenting and interacting and watching and I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, I will have a few more videos up in the next few weeks. Uh, one unboxing that I'm really excited about and um, possibly a giveaway. I haven't decided yet but um, let me know what you guys think a good giveaway thing would be because I'm really, ask anyone in my family, I'm so bad at gifts, like, <laughs> I'm horrible at giving gifts to people, so I wouldn't actually be giving away something that, like, people would like. So yeah, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!